Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. The channel where we discuss mechanical engineering subject. Our today's uh, subject is tool engineering. In the tool engineering, we have the chapter of uh, jigs and fixture. We have started the series on the uh, uh, specific topic from the jigs and fixture. In our previous video, we discussed about the introduction of the jigs and fixture, its advantages, its application. In the next video, we discuss about the locating principle. Now for the jigs and fixture, this locating and clamping is very important. That's why we discuss about the location and its design principle. Now in today's video, we are going to discuss the clamping principle. Design principle uh, for the clamping purposes. Now what are these design principles and how we are going to tackle with the clamping as well as we take the help from the locating to build the correct jigs and fixture. Unless and until you have the knowledge of locating as well as clamping, you cannot build the correct uh, jigs and fixture. So if you have not watched the earlier video, press the I button so that you can watch the design principle of uh, location. Okay, so uh, let's get started with the today's video. First principle of clamping, the clamping pressure applied against the workpiece must counteract the tool force. Second principle, the clamping forces should not be directed towards the cutting operation. Whenever possible, it should be directed parallel to it, as shown in this figure. The clamping pressure must only hold the workpiece and should not be great, never be the great enough so that the workpiece may get damaged. It deform or change the dimension of the workpiece. Fourth point, the clamping and cutting forces should be directed toward the locating pins. Otherwise, workpiece may get bent or force away from the locating element during machining. Fifth point is very important. Clamping should be simple, foolproof and quick. Complicated clamps lose their effectiveness as they get wear out. Sixth point, the movement of clamps should be strictly limited and if possible, it should be positively guided. So that if when you clamp, it should not get away from the direction of the clamping. It should be positively guided. Next point, whenever possible, the lifting of the clamp by the hand should be avoided. If it can be done by means of spring fitted in it, so we don't have to uh, move from the hand. So spring should does the work. Actually, clamps should never be relied upon for holding the workpiece against the cutting forces. The cutting force should be arranged against the fixed stop or substantial part of the fixture body. The clamps should always be arranged directly above the points supporting the work. Otherwise, distortion of the work can occur, as shown in this figure. One next point is very important. Fiber pads should be riveted to the, the clamp face. Otherwise, soft and fragile workpiece can get damaged. Next point in the design principle is clamps should be designed to deliver the required clamping force when operated by the smallest expected force. Next design principle, the clamp should be strong enough to withstand reaction imposed upon it. Where the largest expected operating force is applied. And the last point in the design principle of the clamping, the clamping pressure must be directed towards the point of support. Otherwise, work will tend to rise from its support, as shown in this figure. Okay, so that's it uh, for today. In this video, we discuss about the uh, clamping uh, principle, design principle for the clamping. So if you find uh, useful content in this video, so please uh, like, share and subscribe to this channel. Also follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Thank you.